Hi guys, today I'm going to tell you about the solar rooftop net metering system. This is a 20 kilowatt system for a factory. For further details of this project, you can click on the link below. It is there on my blog, Electroblogotronics on Blogspot. So this is a 20 kilowatt rooftop consisting of 64 panels of 300 watt each. So after the panel, you have this hybrid inverter which converts the DC into AC so let's understand what's happened next so after the DC current passes through the panel it goes to this inverter where the AC DC is converted to AC then there is a solar meter and then there is a bus stop or a consumer distribution panel which goes to the load and then you have a bi-directional meter and then the grid so this is a real setup there are different compartments for AC so here's the wire coming out of that motor goes to a bus bar where you have a connection for the load before that you have this meter which records the solar output and there is a separate box which is connected with the grid I'll tell you later on like how this thing works as you can see that is in the AC side and this is the reading of the solar output and this is the reading of the grid which is being consumed by the load this is the rooftop outside the factory consists of 64 panels so total 20 kilowatt each panel is 315 kilowatt this is a water bottle factory so this was the setup When the metering is done, they put the seal, the electric board for safety and once before starting they take the initial reading. So this is a solar meter. So in uh, means if you are exporting more, then obviously your electricity bill will go down. So as you can see after the inverter wire there is you have the solar meter which records the solar output and then there is a common bus bar from which load is drawn and after that you have a bi-directional meter which in case if you're producing extra solar output is exported to the basecom grid that is the government grid so obviously your electric 